Hello everybody and welcome to another SuperTog tutorial. Today we will be talking about how to design a business card for your photography business or whatever business you run. We are going to be using Adobe InDesign tonight because that is your print standard, obviously. So we will go ahead and get started. As you can see, I am using the letter size layout for this because it'll be the easiest way for us to set up multiple business cards per page. It'll also depend entirely on how you're having your business cards printed because if you're going through a company like Vistaprint or any online printer like that, they may have you only design one and then they print, they set them up multiples to a page. But if you're going through a local printer, it's a lot easier to set up, you know, about 10 of them per page and it'll actually save you a little bit of money in printing costs. So as you can see, I've got my document here. I'm going to change the units because they are currently set up in PICAs and that's not really conducive to what we're gonna be doing here. So a quick and easy way to do that is to right click in this upper, in the, uh, the intersection between your two rulers and that brings up all your different ruler units and you can switch to points you can switch to whatever you want really if you're overseas and and you're more comfortable in millimeters or centimeters or whatever you can set it up like that but I'm gonna set it to inches for now as far as size for these business cards I'm gonna set mine up as three and a half by two inches because that's kind of a pretty standard size so my first step is gonna be to create a rectangle that size. I like to be very precise when I do this, so I'm going to come up here to the width and set that up there, just so that it's exactly what I want. I don't have to eyeball it or anything like that. And your next step is gonna be set up your margins so that you can get them spaced out correctly and and print as many as you need to per page. And I'm gonna shoot for 10 business cards per page. So what I'm doing here is just getting these, oh darn it, getting these set up so that they will all fit. Uh, it looks like I'm gonna have to adjust some of my margins to fit all of these because that's already at the bottom and that's not ideal. So as you can see, I've got, you know, I definitely need to adjust my margins here. So what I'm gonna do real quick is, before I do that, I'm gonna space these out equally by using my align commands up here. Okay. Also going to align those. Whoops. I am also going to align the edges so that all that is correct. And then I'm going to figure out what my my dimension is there. As you can see right up here, I actually somehow miraculously space that out almost perfectly. Uh, the 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 business card space is taking up 7.5 by 10.5 inches. And so that's what you want your active area to be in your document. So you will go up here to your margins and columns. And actually the, the inside and outside margins are perfect. I'm not, I'm gonna leave those alone. I, wanna, I do wanna change these margins to it looks like a quarter inch, which is just obviously it's the the leftover space at the top and the bottom divided by two. And I am actually going to set up two columns. And what does my gutter want to be? My gutter for these, let's see, I said three and a half times two is seven plus, a, yeah, plus a half an inch. 
so my gutter for this is going to be a half an inch. And that gets me set up so I can move these right to my margins and I'm set there. And actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to use cut and paste to put these up into my master page so that I can set up the guides and everything on the master page as opposed to on the regular page and that way I don't have to worry about moving them around. So I have to reset up my margins. I'm going to leave the inside and outside at a half an inch. Two columns with a half inch gutter. And there we go. So next step is to just make sure that these are sitting where they should in the guides. And then I'm going to create guides at the top and bottom of each box. And if you have your document set up right, they will snap to the exist the pre-existing boxes. Actually, that's it's a default setting, so when you create your new document, it should already be set up this way to snap. And now I can delete these boxes because I no longer need them. And I have my setup. Now, if you do decide to do a full bleed business card, that may change what you want to do. For example, my own, those went full bleed, so I had them uh, trimmed at the printing shop where I got them done. And so I actually set the document up a little bit differently for those. Actually, I'll show you that document now. Okay, so now this, I found my, my old business cards, my other business cards for my, my professional photography business. And as you can see, I have these set up at full bleed. Um, Basically, you know, the images go to each other, go right to the edges of each other, and then they would be trimmed at the print shop where I had them made, which I even included. In my design, I included the crop marks just to make it a lot easier for the guy that was printing them. Um, I even did them for the columns, and, you know, I just I wanted to make it as easy for them to create them as possible. And what I actually did with these was to... Uh, obviously, I used 10 different images just so that each of the business cards was different. And I even went full bleed on the other side, which probably was a mistake because they didn't get trimmed quite right. So I would suggest if you're going to go full bleed, just do it on one side because it can get a little tricky when you're trying to have the bleeds on both sides of the document work. So actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this template that I have already built for the other business cards that I'm going to build because I've already got this all set up and I'll kind of go into, you know, once I, I'll save a different version of this. Once I get this saved out, I will kind of go into how I went about creating it and, and the steps that I took. That's all I'll talk about in this video. Um, just to keep this business card tutorial fairly short so that you can watch and follow along as necessary as you have time, things like that. So I'm gonna, I've created a folder for my business cards, obviously, and I will just call them OV, and that's for Outdoor Vlogist. We'll get into that later. OV business cards, biz cards full bleed and that's just to, so that I know that I designed them a full bleed and whatever whatever so once I've got that saved out I'm actually gonna delete my other document I don't need to save that because I have what I need now I'm gonna go into my master page and we'll take a look at these guides that I built I created this using the same process I did for the last one just deciding how big I wanted the card itself to be and actually that's a little bit off you know those cards ended up at 
three and a half by two inches, which again, that's the same size I brought up before. So it has all the same margins as our other document. And then same process, copying, pasting, and, and distributing them evenly so that they all fit where they belong. And then I went ahead and laid out these guides for where I wanted the bleed dimensions to be. And then from there, I set up these black crop marks so that the guy that was printing them knew where to cut, where to cut the cards apart. Uh, and the reason I did this in the master page, for those of you who aren't familiar with InDesign, is now I can't mess with these guides. As much as I try and grab them and, and whatever, I can't. Oh, see, that's an easy way to mess something up. Um, I can't grab these and move them around accidentally. So I would highly suggest using your master pages to, to lock, to sort of lock the elements that you don't want to mess with. Um, and now that I've got this document saved out as a separate file from my previous one, I'm going to just delete all of these. Whoops, missed two. And I'll go to my other page. Delete all this stuff. And obviously, you guys won't have to do this because you'll be creating the file from scratch. And there you go, you have your, your blank document. All right, so then I'm just gonna save that real quick. And I will see you guys in the next video where we will actually get started with building the official business card part. Okay, please make sure to thumbs up and subscribe and all of that stuff, and we'll see you in the next video. Thank you, goodbye.